Greetings YouTube. If you're watching this video, you're probably in the market for an electric desoldering pump. Uh, maybe you're doing a job that requires a lot of, a lot of through-hole pins to be removed. Because um, you probably uh, have experience with one of these. These work great if you have to remove maybe just a two-related device, a resistor or something. You just got to get in there quick and get it done. These work awesome. But when you have uh, devices with lots of pins or leads, you're gonna get your thumb's gonna get tired out pretty quick after a few times with this. So today I'm gonna show you the differences between the Hako and the Chinese knockoff. Well, not really a knockoff; it's its own little design, but you get the idea. So let's get started. Comparing the Hako FR300 to the Chinese S-993A. To start with, let's start with the price. The Hako is $265. So you can find these on eBay for $265. That does not include a stand. Uh, if you want it with the stand, you're looking at about $298. Now with the uh, the Chinese uh, model here, you can find these for about $110, and they do come with the stand. Uh, actually, this, the stand is the best is, is one of the good features with this. Uh, solder sucker. Um, it actually fits nice when you put it in. You can, it feels really uh, secure. Where with the uh, the Hacko, the stand is actually made for the soldering irons and not even really made for the solder suckers. Um, so the uh, Chinese model wins for the stand. Now for the cord. Let's say uh, you accidentally had the cord wrapped around and you, you plugged it in, you turned it on, and, and maybe walked out of the room. Um, now, if this the cord on the Chinese model, it's it's very thin, and I'm not, I can't say with confidence that if this were to short out, that it could carry all 15 amps and blow the breaker. Uh, maybe it can, but it's it's pretty it's pretty scrawny. We're on the echo. This is a heavy core, and it says right now it's rated for 60, uh, 60 degrees C. But let's just see what happens with the cords when they're just touched with a, a soldering iron, uh, just briefly, and see if the see if the insulation melts right away or what happens here. Yeah, we are getting some melting on the Hako, and the Chinese one. Yeah, it looks like they're they're both gonna melt. But with the Hacko, you melt through this cord, get to the wire, and short it out. I, I can say this: this is a heavy. This is probably a 16 gauge wire for sure. So this can actually blow the breaker before it burns down your house. Uh, next, let's talk about the power button. The Hacko has a power button. You click it in, you click it off. You can turn it on and off. The Chinese model, you have uh, you have to either unplug it or put it on a power strip with a switch. Kind of kind of a pain. So Hacko wins with the power button. Next, let's talk about uh, power light. Neither one of them have a power light, but they both have a heat light. Uh, they both are automatic heat. They're thermal. They have a thermal feedback, so they heat as needed. And they both have setting dials. Uh, but neither one of them have a power light, uh, just a heat light. So that's kind of a lose for both of them. I really like to see a, a power light where it can easily be seen. Um, let's talk about the canisters. Now with the Hacko, you have a nice latching mechanism there to, to clean out, take out and clean out your canister. Uh, where the Chinese model, there's no, uh, no latch, you just have to hold it back and then kind of fold this back out of the way when you put the canister back in and then make sure that the the seal seat right you can kind of see when they when they see it in there um, a, little, a little more quicker and easier to use on the hackle for cleaning that out uh, now with the canisters you look both of them are starting to crack now i've been using the hackle for over a year so it definitely has more cracks but the Chinese model, even after a couple of weeks of use, I'm starting to see some cracks show up. Not too sure what's what's going on there. It's not like I'm abusing them or anything, but it must be something with the plastic. Um, next, let's see which one heats up faster. So what I'm going to do, set these down next to each other. 
going to put a piece of solder in the tips and we are going to see which one heats up faster and melts faster. I can tell just from using them the hackle's going to, hackle's going to win, but let's just see by how much. So I'm going to plug the Chinese one at the same time I turn on the hackle. Okay, Hacko melted the solder. And the Chinese is still, still hasn't melted the solder yet. I got the temp set to uh, about 400, so it's set plenty high enough. Any minute, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. Um, now let's do some, some real world testing here. We're gonna actually use it. Um, let's, remove, let's remove a component here. We're gonna do the same component with both of them. Now just normal use, you can see that the Hakko definitely has a little bit more, more uh, sucking power. Um, you just tell by the sound of the motor, it's got a little more, a little more meat to it. Uh, so there it is, so that this, this component's not out here. Let's do the same component with the Chinese. Not quite as much heat transfer there, it just takes a little bit, a little bit longer. Okay. Okay, that should do it. There you have it. All right, so they both do the job. Hacko does the job a little bit quicker and easier. Last thing I want to talk about is support. Uh, Chinese guy was actually dead on arrival when I got it. Uh, when the assembler put it together, they misaligned the diaphragm assembly. It has a couple of slots that it slides into. They missed, so the pump couldn't pump because it was uh, lower down too far, I couldn't uh, get a get a full pumping action. Now at the Hacko, I did contact them about the cracking canisters, and they quickly uh, took care of me. There's there was email support. They got a hold of me within uh, I think one business day, maybe maybe two business days. I don't remember, but they got a hold of me quickly. Sent out some replacement canisters right away. With this, there's going to be no support, so don't expect any. Uh, any help from uh, the manufacturer. I do see there's probably going to be parts available on eBay, so at least if you burn out a heating element, I think you can probably get a replacement. Now as far as long-term reliability, I can only speak for the Hacko. I've been using this for probably over a year now, almost every day, and uh, it's been a, a great machine. I haven't had to, to really replace anything. It's still the original tip, original heating element. I uh, got a couple canisters, but uh, again, the cracks in there don't actually cause any vacuum leaks, so it it's just kind of a uh, not pretty to look at, but it gets the job done. Uh, I can't speak much reliability on the uh, the Chinese machine. I, I've only had this for a couple weeks now. I've used it a few times. Uh, I don't know how long the, the heating element's going to last. Uh, tip's looking okay so far. I, I don't know how long the diaphragm, the the pump is going to last. You know those can uh, get kind of brittle with age and crack and tear but uh, well I guess time will tell but that's it for now for this video thanks for watching